Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Are you doing well? I really hope you are. I'm currently outside the balcony. Uh, it's really hot. But thankfully, it's kind of windy, so that's good. Um, so I'll be starting something new on my channel. I'll be reviewing TV series and movies. Um, and my best friend suggested that I, that I do this. I will be giving my um, opinion before starting the show, like what I'm expecting from the show or the, the movie. And then after I finish, I will be doing another video uh, explaining what I actually think from it. If that makes sense, I hope it does. Like, I'll be sharing my personal thoughts prior to watching and then my personal thoughts after watching, which is gonna be awesome, I hope. Anyways, I'll be starting Third Reasons Why, the fourth season. I have watched the previous three. Um, some were really good. There were moments, moments that were really powerful and really good. There were others that, uh, well, if they didn't include them, that would be that would, uh, would have been okay. Uh, but in overall, it's the last season, so I think they're gonna go out with like um, something big and something good. Um, that's my personal opinion, but I think since it's the finale and that's where it all ends, I think they're gonna give us something to, you know, remember. Uh, let's see how spot on I am. I'll start watching and I'll check in with you guys as soon as I finish. Okay, um, I just finished watching the fourth season of Third Reasons Why and um, honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I, I, I tried to stay away from spoilers and everything um, because some people watch the show and start posting about it the next day without taking into consideration that half there are people that haven't watched the show, so I tried as much as I could to avoid social media and spoilers. Uh, so I wouldn't, you know, see what happens because I wanted to see for myself. Um, I started the show with my best friend. I watched one and a half episodes and it took me two days to continue watching, but I finished in like five, six days, which is good. <laughs> Um, but let's get to to the actual show. Um, wow, um, I wasn't expecting that. Third reasons why is a show that has really tackled and talked about all sorts of things from the first season to the last. Like um, it talked about bullying, it talked about sexual assault. Um, a rape to to put it bluntly um it has talked about friendships that fall apart or come together um it has talked about drug addiction and uh, substance addiction um alcohol even uh violence um, I wrote them down because I didn't want to forget anything because all those topics are important in this season uh, they also tackled things from previous seasons like the drug addiction um, the friendships the bullying um, but they also talked about gun control which was a topic in the previous seasons as well but in this particular season they talked about um, guns at schools sorry I just forgot one thing and I wanted to write it down to not forget to mention it uh, they talked they showed guns at schools and like uh, the alert and the measures that schools or the police take and how sometimes instead of making the situation better for the students and everyone they make it way worse 
Uh, they talked about drugs and addiction because that was part of the show and they showed how it's possible to have a better ending or al at least try to have a better ending than what people expect of you. It also shows that sometimes you can ex escape uh, what's destined for you as much as you want to, as much as you try, as much as the universe may want you to. Sometimes there are certain things that don't go the way you want them to. Um, in this season, they talked about mental health as well, which is a topic that isn't discussed or shown as much in movies and TV shows and I think that's something that needs to change because first of all everyone needs to go to a therapist at least once in their lives because we all need someone to talk to we all have a lot of burden and everything in us and sometimes we can't talk about that with our friends or family and we need to talk about about it with someone else because if we keep holding things inside and not letting them out it's only gonna destroy us in the end sorry um so yeah i there is a belief going around going to a therapist seeing a psychiatrist makes you a lunatic it makes you be a crazy person which is not true um, trust me, uh, this society wouldn't survive if at least half of the people didn't go and visit the psychiatrist. And I think the, the society would be so much better if more people went and saw a psychiatrist and talked. Because many things would be avoided if that happened. It also, this season also tackles panic attacks and anxiety attacks which is something that many of us aren't familiar with because we don't experience it and sometimes we might or might not know someone that does but still it's hard to comprehend and understand what really goes on but this show really portrayed it really well um, it really gave you an understanding of the situation and how how it really affects your life and it clouds your judgment at times it makes your life unbearable at times um, it makes your mind go to dark places it makes your mind not be able to cooperate with reality you have trouble breathing um, the portrayal of this on the show was outstanding. Uh, the characters in general delivered some of the best performances. It was unreal. I, I, I really was at the edge of my seat throughout the entire season. Um, another topic that was addressed was the coming out topic. How people struggle with their sexuality and how sometimes it's hard to accept your sexuality and even more admit it to someone else and come out to your family or to your friends and uh, it was really great because they showed the ideal support system how things should be and how coming out shouldn't be a thing like it's normal we should then make it something different than, than normal and um One second. Another topic that was uh, shown, uh, even it was briefly, but it was still shown, was the topic of racism. And I think that the timing of the show coming out and the timing of everything going on was like just what uh, was needed because it shows the police violence and the police brutality towards people of color while white people just get away with things. It has one scene, uh, one specific scene that stands out 
that's that takes place in the police station you will realize which scene i'm talking about as soon as you watch the show and there is another scene at the school which you will see what i mean by saying that people of color are treated differently than white people and i think they really uh handle this topic really well another topic is the topic of friendship which is something that started from season one to this season that's the end um those people started out as enemies i would say or people that didn't really get along and they didn't have anything in common except of the tapes and uh, one person in common that was part of all the lives i'm sorry again and it shows that throughout the seasons those people became each other's family and they had each other's back through thick or thin like through life and death literally and it was just beautiful to witness that you can go from hitting somebody to have them become your family become one of the most important people in your life uh that that example is for everyone but mostly for clay and justin because at the at the beginning they they really hated each other and then justin was adopted by clay's family so that was a spoiler but it was from the previous season i'm not spoiling too much about season four because you really need to watch it and there is something that i didn't see coming and i i really couldn't stop crying because um that character really deserved better uh and i don't know i i think it was unfair but at the same time it was the season finale and the series finale so they had to go out with something big uh, but yeah, in overall, it was an amazing season. If you haven't watched the show, you should watch it because it talks about a lot of topics. And uh, what else? There are parts of the previous seasons that you might not like. There are parts that you will love. There are parts that you will get mad about. You will, you'll get sad about. But in overall, it's a show that keeps you on the edge of your seat and it has a lot of things that it talks about um there is a warning that if you're struggling with something um uh, either it's mental mental thoughts suicide thoughts if you're in you're just struggling having bad thoughts it's best to watch it with someone and not on your own and uh if you need to talk to someone, reach out to to someone. It can be one of your teachers, older, uh, older people, your parents, your friends, or just someone you you barely know. There are helplines for that, or you can reach out to therapists to talk. Um, but in overall, in the end, <laughs> uh, it was a really powerful season. It was really amazing. Uh, best way to end the show. Um, so yeah, that was my reaction to the fourth season of Third Reasons Why. I want to thank the cast for their amazing work and uh, the performance they delivered throughout uh, all of the seasons and the writers and everyone involved. It was really an amazing show to watch and uh, it really helped me understand some things better and see things from different different perspectives uh take care guys stay safe and don't forget you're not alone